friends, welcome to another vlog with Valerie. Today is a very, very exciting day because as you probably saw in the title, I wish I had like a drum roll or something, but we are getting a little puppy. And as we speak, Chip is actually picking her up right now. I just got home from work, so I feel kind of gross, but I didn't have, I knew I wasn't gonna have time to make any supper. So like the good little wife that I am, I grabbed a frozen pizza from work and it's not even the good frozen pizza. It's like fundraiser pizza and that's not really that great, but I didn't have time to cook. So this is what we are eating for supper. So about this little dog, the thing with her is we are going, Chip's cousin and us are going in 50-50 with her. And when she's older, we're going to raise some puppies with her. And obviously she's a puppy right now, so we will not be breeding her for quite a while, but I'm so excited to have a little dog around the house. It's gonna be fun on the days that I'm here by myself. It's like I have this little dog to take care of. I'm gonna, I'm so excited. And I'm not gonna tell you guys what kind of dog she is until I show her because she's so cute. But this is a kind of dog that I have dreamed of like getting for my whole life, but I knew that I we probably never will. And then all of a sudden, boom, this can happen and it's working out perfect. I'm so excited for you guys to see her. And I'm just like looking out the window the whole time waiting for him to get here with her. But I'm gonna stick our pizza in the oven and get the stuff ready for her to get here. We seriously have like no room for a dog kennel. Excuse the entire mess that is my dining room but we decided we're gonna keep her back here and I had a plant here that I just moved out of the way. And so her kennel's gonna go there with her stuff on top and yeah. Look who is here. He's gonna bring her in. <laughs> All right, we're sitting on the floor with our little puppy. Are you guys ready to meet her? I don't think you're ready for this cuteness level because, oh my goodness, here she is. Hello, Sage. That's her name, by the way, Sage. Sage, look here. <laughs> I don't think you guys can see how tiny she actually is. Like, she's the perfect little size and the perfect color and so stinking cute. I always thought like a dog should have a two syllable name. It just kind of seems to flow better, but I don't know when we were kind of looking at names, we found Sage and we were like, that one's simple and to the point and we both really liked it for a dog. So her name is Sage and she is a Cavapoo. The cutest little thing you ever did see. I mean, look at this furry goodness. She's just like a bunch of fluff and she's so cuddly. That is my Valentine's gift from Chip in case you're wondering why that's sitting there. Say hi to the camera. Hello. Good girl, good girl. We're trying to teach her how to sit. It's gonna take a few few days, but they say Cavapoos are pretty intelligent, so we're going with that. <laughs> Little update on Sage. I took her potty and she went out, actually peed outside, so that was really good progress, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, so they say, I've heard like if you take them out every half hour for every half hour for a couple weeks, they're trained. Sorry, my camera is so low, so I'm like squatting down here, but I just took her out, so I'm gonna wipe off her paws. Good girl. She is such a little munchkin. I could just squeeze her all day. <laughs> I think she needs a haircut. <laughs> Come, let's go. Can you make it over this thing? Come. <laughs> she likes to just sit by my feet. Come, come on. Sage, come. Good girl, yay, good girl. Hello. <laughs> it is the next day and I'm just gonna pop in, give you a little update. Sage is laying right here beside me. And let me tell you, she is a little handful. Like she whines like a dog does, but she did pretty good overnight. I mean, she whined for a, probably a good 10, 15 minutes when we put her to bed in her kennel. And then 
we just decided we're gonna just ignore her because we don't want her to associate whining with getting attention. So we just let her whine and then when she stopped, she was done and she was quiet the rest of the night. But seriously, if you guys have dog training tips, we are trying to potty train her right now, going outside, taking her out about every hour, every half hour to every hour. And even if she doesn't need to go to the bathroom, we just take her out anyway. And yeah, I'm trying to teach her to sit. The two commands that I want her to learn right now would be sit and come. But I also want to teach her how, like when we tell her to go in the kennel, she goes in the kennel. My parents' dog, he does that and it's so nice You just go in the kennel and he goes right in. And I would like to teach her those things, but potty training is one of the biggest things. Yeah, I'm trying to get her to stop whining. Like she likes to play and when I don't play with her, she whines. But I need to teach her that this is our house and she is living in it and she needs to learn how to live in my household. <laughs> But yeah, if you have any doggy training tips, let me know in the comments, please. I am about to make some coffee and have my devotions out here in the sunroom. And I've decided, I was playing with her for a while and doing some training with her for a while this morning. And I decided I'm gonna let her rest here with me while I do my devotions. Say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> So I'm gonna go get up to go make my coffee, but I don't want to because she's finally resting and I'm afraid she's gonna get up and be all hyper again, but this is the true test. I'm gonna get up and see what she does. So far, so good. She's still laying there. She is like scared of my tripod too. I set it up last night and she was scared. <laughs> she's still there. <laughs> I thought I would show you guys today's pour. I'm not expecting too great of things. My last pour was pretty bad, but I'm gonna show you guys anyway. <laughs> Well, it's certainly not pretty in any means of the word. What are you doing? I saw her out here playing and chewing on the blanket, so that's a big old no-no. What you didn't see was me scolding her for it. <laughs> hey, are you a coffee lover too? Yeah, you're excited. <laughs> She whined for a little bit when I went out there to make my coffee, but then she was fine. Sage. Hi. Hello. She really likes playing with my sweater, especially these things. She's been pretty infatuated with that all morning. Hello. And yes, I'm still in my pajamas. Judge me. <laughs> Very playful right now, aren't you? You're such a playful puppy. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. Okay, fast forward a day. It's now day two of having little Sage. And please excuse this whole look. This is my, I haven't had coffee this morning yet look. <laughs> it has been, a night, let me just tell you, she is a handful. Literally, let me tell you how this went. Last night, we put her in her kennel to go to bed. She did 10 times worse last night than she did on the first night. Is there such a thing as a puppy crying their eyes out? Because that is literally what she was doing. She was bawling and like, just the worst. And she did so good the first night, but then last night it was just horrible. She was like howling and we, yeah. She finally quit and stuff, but then we'd wake up again at like three in the morning and she's howling again. And she never did that the first night, I don't know. But then yesterday, I left for a couple hours to go see Chip at work and I put her in the kennel. And when I got back, I was like, what is this huge mess? How did, what happened? Here, I had her bag of food sitting on top of her kennel, which huge mistake, huge mistake. She 
got a hold of the bag and ripped a hole in the corner on both bags of food that I had up there and food spilled down into our kennel and she made a huge mess and oh my word so that was which that was kind of normal like she's a puppy she likes to chew on things I should not have had that sitting on her kennel for sure not but then after that uh quite a while after that later towards when Chip got home she was playing on the carpet all of a sudden I saw her she was about to go number two on the carpet and I quick ran over there and I grabbed her and I took her outside and she quickly pooped outside which was good but then she tried to eat it is that a normal thing or not I looked it up and it said it's it's normal for puppies and stuff, but I don't know if it means she's lacking something. Apparently it has good nutrients, but like, I don't want my house dog eating her doo-doo because I don't want her breath to reek and that's just disgusting to me. So now the problem is trying to get her not to eat her own doo-doo. <laughs> Needless to say, my husband woke up and he just was pretty tired because he did not get a lot of sleep. She was so loud last night and we, it's been a struggle bus. Notice at the beginning of this video, I was like all happy and ex excited and I still am excited. I'm still, I know I'm gonna love, by the way, excuse my bed. This is real life, have not made the bed. Come. <laughs> like she's a stinking cute little thing, but man, I don't want her to be spoiled. So that's kind of the problem right now and I haven't even had my coffee yet. I'm about to make some more coffee. Hi, Sage. On the bright side of things, I am teaching her to sit and she is actually getting it. So maybe I'll have to show you guys, but that's what she does. She just whines. When I'm not with her, she whines. She wants to play so bad. And I just played with her for like ages. But yeah, like I was saying, I'll probably show you guys at the end of the vlog, how she is doing with her sitting and stuff. But I am in the process right now of getting her to go outside to use the bathroom because when I was filming the last little clip, she was getting ready to poop on the carpet and I stopped the video and I ran and got her, took her outside and she wouldn't go. This happened two times. Like she almost, she wants to go on the carpet. So I catch her in the act, take her outside and then she won't go. So I'm right now just waiting it out. As soon as I see she needs to poop, taking her outside. <sighs> it's stressful. So that's what we're doing right now. And I'm gonna end the vlog here in just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna see if she's gonna sit for you guys. So let's see what she does. Look, sit up here in tree. Here's your tree. Here, here. Sit, sit, stay, 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 stay. Now come, come on. Good dog, Sage. Good girl. Okay, let's try it again. Let's try it again. Sit. Good dog. You're so good at that. Good girl. All right, guys, I'm going to end the vlog here and I'm sorry I look so awful. Um, I'm getting ready to comb my hair because I'm going to go out for lunch with my family. So I just thought I would end the vlog here and hopefully it wasn't too boring for you guys. <laughs> Say bye-bye. Seriously, if you guys have any like potty training tips for dogs, or crate training for overnight, please let me know because I am pretty new at this. Any tips you have would be greatly appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching and for all of your support. It means the world to me. Also, real quick, next month in March, it'll be one year since I have been doing YouTube and I would like to do a giveaway to celebrate, but one of my goals that I had was to hit 5,000 subscribers by my year mark, just sometime in March. I don't know if it's gonna happen because I'm at like 4,500 right now. And that's quite a bit of subscribers to gain in a month's time. But that was a goal I had was to get to 5,000 before my year mark. So if you guys would like to share with your friends, I would love that so much. You guys have been so much fun. I love interacting with you guys in the comments. So yeah, feel free to leave more comments in this video. <laughs> Actually, please do give me all the tips. So yeah, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. We're gonna be seeing a lot more of Little Miss Sage in the videos. And yeah, don't forget to share with your friends. Bye guys, see you next time.